What's good with y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. If you couldn't tell by the background, I've moved. So that's why last week I wasn't really able to record on this channel like I wanted to. I moved. I also was trying to get the internet set up. And I also ended up getting sick. So all of last week, I pretty much pretty much missed everything wrestling related the only way i was kind of in the loop is by like social media and youtube i was able to kind of check out different podcasts talking about what went down last week wrestling wise uh i was able to catch monday night raw didn't really care for it i was able to catch a little bit of uh friday uh night smackdown didn't really too much care for that either i heard last week uh, aew was pretty good um as i expected it and this week this segment with cody and uh chris jericho was fantastic i made sure i was able to watch it once i got everything set up internet wise and cable and all this other stuff set up i made sure to watch this show um while i'm recording this it's still going on right now but i you know i was able to at least check out this segment and this was hella entertaining AEW's killing it right now uh wwe they they are just shitting the bed well at least when it comes to the main roster i heard that nxt was nxt was pretty good but main roster wise they're they're killing it in a negative way I heard about the situation with Seth Rollins uh, going to the Firefly Funhouse and burning it down, literally. That's, I didn't even watch it. I heard about it, and I'm just like, yo, that's complete, complete utter garbage. But y'all are not here for that. Y'all are here for me to check out this little interaction between Cody and Chris Jericho. Y'all want to talk about the good positives of wrestling? This is it. AEW, they're killing it every single week um i'm just glad that we have an alternative outside of nxt on like a, a main stage so AEW is continuously killing it man so i'm back y'all um you know i'm gonna be trying to upload consistently you know so get used to this setup and um let's get right into it man this was so hilariously funny but dope at the same time oh man Cody knows what he's doing, bro. AEW, they know exactly what they're doing. Let's get right into it. Now, originally, I thought that was like a fan being an asshole, but then, as you can see in the background, you got uh, Chris Jericho in, in the inner circle in that little press box area. I like that. I thought it was a fan at first. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so funny. They bought a ticket to the show. I, I like this. This is so funny. I love it. <laughs> Shout out to Jericho having a little bit of the bubbly right there behind the uh, AEW championship. This is so good. Jericho is such a good heel. This is so good. This this is so good. Such a good. It's 
such a it's such a good job. It, it, oh my god, this is not the other wrestling company we came from, WWE, where there's an invisible wall, which I I, I started to hate. There there be confrontations and it's like there's space between the ropes. All you have to do is kind of get through the ropes and you can go at it with the dude and. No, it's an invisible wall. I love that, man. Just subtle jabs. They're not being like overzealous with their little little shoots, the little mini shoots at WWE. But I love that. Just it's just it makes the promos feel extra real. I love stuff like that. I love when they incorporate realism and throwing jabs at the competition. Like this ain't the other place. I can come up there and beat your ass in that press box with your bubbly. I don't give a damn. Like, we can go. I love that, man. So good, man. AEW's doing it right. (laughs) Now, I know this on the opposite side, not the hard cam side. There's a lot of empty seats, so it wasn't completely sold out. But, hey, they still had a pretty good showing out. The crowd was lively, so it's all good. I don't I don't think every venue that they go to is going to be sold out, but it's still, they still, they, they don't have, they're not afraid to show that. WWE is afraid to show their opposite hard cam crowd view because they don't want to give the impression that it's not sold out, but, they're more so concerned about putting on a good show for whoever's there. So much respect for them. I'm not sure if it was intentional, but much respect for them for just not worrying about people seeing the empty stands. I'm pretty sure the WWE marks are going to make their comments. He's not even a sold out show, but they're putting on better content. So. <laughs> I love it. Love how he's antagonizing him. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it, man. I love how they just let him kind of go off the cuff with the promos and the insults. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Jericho's so good. And then his brother comes out. I like how they're treating Dustin with a lot more respect in this company. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know what happened. Uh Okay, there we go. This is This is nice, man. Like I like just the build up of this. Like they really know how to put on entertaining shows. Like entertaining segments like that. You don't really too much get segments like that. Not in WWE at least. <laughs> I love it. It's funny because Jericho used to wear a scarf in WWE. He used to have his little scarf. That's what makes that comment even funnier. If y'all remember, he used to wear just a scarf when he was doing the um the list when he had his list stick. Back in WWE, his list gimmick, he used to have a scarf as well. It was funny. It's f- so funny. <laughs> Fucking love, Jared. All right, so someone had called me and uh, kind of cut out the uh, recording because I'm recording from my phone. Um, but uh, pretty much after that, uh, 
DDP comes down there, Diamond Dallas Page. He comes down there to help. They go up the stairwell and they just uh, they lock themselves in like this little glass, like it's not a glass room, but it's like a room in the VIP section. They lock themselves. Cody wraps up his arms and his homie scarf, or well, his hand and his homie scarf punch through the 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 little. It's not. It's like. It's like breakable breakaway glass. It's not really strong glass. It's like break breakaway glass. Punches punches through it and then they start brawling and it's they start brawling in the concession area and it's dope. It's hilarious. It's not hilarious. It's funny at the same time, but it's 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 entertaining, bro. Just seeing them brawl, it was cool. And that's pretty much how the segment ended. They take Cody and uh, the rest of his uh his family slash friends family friends you know what i'm saying pretty much that's what it is family slash friends they take him away and you know they continue on with the rest of the show that's pretty much what happened after that um like i said aw is killing it right now they know what they're doing when it comes to wwe i'm really uh enjoying their content uh i wish i could have watched last week's show i just was really under the weather so i wasn't watching anything and i definitely wasn't about to sit through and watch wwe it's the worst thing to do is to watch wwe while you're sick but yeah this was dope it was entertaining i want to get y'all comments and thoughts on just uh the wrestling scene right now what are you guys uh, preferring right now aew or wwe i think a lot of you are probably gonna say aew at this point because wwe is they're just I'm making a lot of mistakes right now, man, and uh, I may make another video already later on this week discussing just some of the the mishaps they're making right now and my thoughts and opinions and where they could possibly take the product. If y'all want a video like that, let me know. Comment down below. You want me to give my thoughts on what's going on in WWE and how to potentially make it better. You know what I'm saying? But right now AEW is killing it i may check out some nxt highlights uh later on after i finish editing and recording this video but uh i appreciate y'all just being patient with me uh, i know i hadn't uploaded in a week but i'm back in my new little setup man and it's only gonna get better also just want to make a quick announcement if you haven't followed us on the in the clutch uh youtube we just reached 250,000 subscribers so i'm very happy about that on this channel we're almost at 5,000 subscribers so we're almost there man so i appreciate the love and support on just both the channels man y'all are really just y'all are a blessing y'all really are a blessing just to be able to record videos and have these conversations with you guys man like whoever thought i never thought people would be interested in my wrestling takes but you guys are and i appreciate that so more videos more content on the way road to 5k appreciate all the love and support and i was i appreciate y'all just kicking in with me man i'm over here stuttering i don't even know what to say I'm, i can't even hit my regular outro i appreciate y'all kicking in with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace